today we are, we are starting with, uh, with uh, our dear friend. It's a, it's a pleasure to, to introduce him. Uh, he's uh, Jeffrey Dacol and he's from, from Poznan. And he's going to present the talk uh, titled On Bana Conflict Spaces with the Variety. Mm -hmm. So, yesterday, many good words uh, I heard about, about Manolo. Apparently, everything is true. So, about. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, his excellent, excellent uh, activity in teaching and research, extraordinary work for Raksam and so excellent work for academic science many 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 good words and uh, i would like to to add a couple of my words by heart manolo we met over 20 years ago i remember i was invited to a special meeting dedicated to Husein in hamilton and I couldn't come, but Pepe, uh, Pepe uh, Bonnet invited me to, to, to come to, to uh, Valencia. Uh, and uh, I remember this, this couple of words. Jurek, I'm leaving you in good hands. <laughs> so it was just referred to, to, to Manolo and always when we had some occasion to meet in in campus, uh, Technical University, he used to say, I'm not asking you uh, uh, if everything okay, because you are in very good hands. <laughs> so that's right. And Manolo, we started our cooperation a uh, uh, long time ago, and we became good friends very quickly. So I was always impressed by his unbelievable hospitality unbelievable honesty and uh, i really appreciate this our friendship and uh, 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 I, I i i used to tell you many times that uh, uh, your your help just to to take care of my when i i was when i was in in, in, in Valencia, not only in Valencia, but I remember when he used to go to America, to many places, he was always like my uh, older brother. I had to follow his idea, I had to follow his instruction, and we need to be at the airport much earlier than necessary, and always, always he was very correct. So Manolo, uh, I'm very grateful that uh, uh, on my path, through my life, I met you. Thank you, thank you so much, Manuel. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so surely this uh, this talk is dedicated to to Manolo, and will be about Bana and fresher spaces with the Guriari property. In fact, it consists in consists of two parts. The first one is uh, uh, is uh, related with Guriari Bana spaces. So it's more or less. Uh, old stuff, but some results jointly obtained by Kubisch and Solecki are quite new, quite new. And the other one is uh, related with fresher spaces. This is quite new stuff. is already published with Kubisch and uh, Wiesław Kubisch and Christian uh, uh, Barges from, from 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 Switzerland, Innsbruck, and me. Uh, so let's start from this classical, mm, maybe, information. This is the famous result of Banach Mazur. If we have the space C01, Banach space of continuous functions on interval 01, with the, this classical well known norm. Uh, So this space, this space it, uh, is a universal in the class of all separable Banach spaces. What does it mean? If you take any separable Banach space, 
Yeah? There is a guy here, ah, okay, included here, a closed subspaces, such that these both I, are isometric. So if you look at the book of Rolevich, Metric Linear Spaces, he presented uh, a nice proof, but without showing that we have isometry. So it was just information, maybe this is very, very easy, but it's, it needs some extra work. So it was just the Banach Mazur, uh, famous Mazur uh, theorem. Yeah? Later on, later on, uh, Mazur with, uh, okay, maybe that's better, with Olich, they proved some extension of this theorem, so-called mazur orlitz theorem, and they show that this space, so this is a fresher space, it's not a Banach space, it's a fresher space of all continuous functions on real numbers with a compact open topology. Oops, what's going? What happened here? <coughs> Maybe I touch the yeah, other. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this space is a fresher space with a uh, very, very well known uh, countable family of semi norms generating this topology. It's a universal in the class of all separable fresher spaces. By a fresher space, I mean any metrizable complete locally convex space. Any metrizable complete locally convex space. So, the, the, proof, the proof is also located in the book of, uh, of uh, Rolevich, and this is nice application of Banach Mazur theorem. So if you have a concrete seminorm, let's call this Pi, and you consider this our space, let's call maybe this is our Z. Yeah? So then Z divided by uh, So we'll get here, we'll get here a special norm, but this norm space is not complete. Uh, we have to take a completion. But anyway, if we have already such a Banach space, which is surely separable, because our space is separable here, so then we can, ex we can, uh, we can map this, this space by isometry to a special guy I'm this is probably minus i or minus i plus one. I'm not quite sure. One, one should compute it. So, and, and doing, this, uh, doing this work uh, uh, in a gentle way, we'll get this, uh, this in fact, in, in Rolevich book, we've just shown, uh, he showed that we have some isomorphism between, uh, between a fixed, uh, a separable, fresher space, uh, into a concrete subspace of, uh, of uh, this space. So there is some gap in the proof, but you can find really uh, complete proof in, I think it's a book of uh, Fabian Montesinos. I'm not quite sure, but probably it's uh, there. Okay, so we have here two concrete, very concrete, uh, uh, cases about universal, universal, about universal uh, uh, Banach sp uh, spaces in the class of separable Banach spaces and, uh, and uh, uh, universal space in the frame of separable fresher spaces. Okay, now look at this uh, next step, I would say, related with the problem of universality concrete Banach spaces, Guriari in 1966, sorry, 1966, oh my gosh, ay, 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 ay. so can you, I, I, I have something to say about this, this stuff is enough time to repair. So Guriari approved uh, in 1966 the following very outstanding and very interesting Theorem. There is a separate Banach space, and after that, uh, the people call this space Guriari space. 
having the following very interesting property. So if you take any finite dimensional spaces, E and F, E is included in F, and take any isometric embedding from this uh, smaller subspace F to our space G, which is constructed by Guriari. I'm going to provide this construction by the end of my talk. Uh, for any epsilon greater than zero, we can find the epsilon isometric embedding. Is already? No, no, it's, it's oh. not working. It's not working. Uh, embedding uh, G from the bigger space uh, from F to G, which extend F. What does it mean? What does it mean to have this epsilon isometric embedding? Is it just uh, the information is written below? Yeah. So epsilon is, is epsilon is, is 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 just for this moment fixed. So now if you run with epsilon going to to be arbitrary, yeah, and so if epsilon is arbitrary, then we'll get the information that our uh, our map is something below. It's is is working now. So what to do now? I have one that works. You have you have one? Good. <coughs> Oops. And what about maybe I can do this by, by hand? You can do it with the finger. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah. Finger is always the last Finish it. So by by isometry we mean a linear map that is epsilon isometry for every epsilon. Then this is just typical classical information that we are, we are dealing with isometry. Okay, so... <clears throat> so now we are, we are just in position to, to provide some formal definition. So a Banach space has the Guriari property if this space E enjoys the condition from this theorem. Huh? So Guriari space is, is, is of that type. So if this condition holds for epsilon zero, we'll speak that we, we are working with, we, we, we're dealing with the strong Guriari property. So we have two distinguished properties. But Santi, don't worry. It's working now? Oh, no, it's working. Okay. Okay, thank you. And sorry again. <coughs> so Guriari, Guriari property means you are just working in this, working in this uh, condition which appears in this theorem one. A strong Guriari property means everything goes in when epsilon is just zero. Uh -huh. Okay, so there was the famous Guriari uh, a pro, uh, 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 event uh, uh, result which appears quite long, a long time ago, 1966. Okay, what we know, ah, by the way, probably uh, some people uh, knows, know this story under some different um, uh, uh, name. So uh, we used to say also that a Banach space with the with the Guriari property is called of is a space of almost universal disposition. But uh, if we deal with uh, uh, strong Guriari property, we just used to say that we have a universal disposition. There are two distinguished cases of that kind. No, yeah. So now we look at this, our example C01. Uh, this is Banach space, which is universal in the class of all separable Banach spaces. But already Guriari proves that this object, C01, is, does not have the Guriari property. So it's not of, of almost universal disposition. So uh, for sure, at, 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 at this point of view, these two spaces are not isomorphic. Uh, 
And later on, Guriari proof even proved something else that no separable Banach space has the strong Guriari property. The strong Guriari property means this epsilon equals zero. Okay, so at that time, the people were involved in some work related to Lindenstrauss spaces. So what does it mean to, to, for a Banach space to be Lindenstrauss space? It means that the dual, the dual of the space is a linearly isometric to L1 me or me for some measure, right? For some measure. And Guriari proved that, that his space is exactly of that type. So it's a Lindenstrauss space. So it has some very strong influence, a very strong consequence. I'm going to mention immediately. So it was John, the, the, the joint paper uh, written by Guriari, Michael, and Lindenstrauss. Every separable Lindenstrauss space has a, has a monotone shoulder base. This is, this is something still, uh, still far away from Guriari spaces. I'm just collecting first a result which, is, which, are, which will be related with, with Guriari. Uh, okay, so we have two theorems. Pardon? Pardon? Yes. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so now, now uh, the, uh, the, I, I'm not quite sure at this moment, but probably these two, these connections, these two names were separated in two different papers, but they did exactly the same result uh, in a very short time. For a separable Banach space, this three conditions are equivalent. So we have a description of any Banach space which is Lindenstrauss. Uh, so uh, maybe look at the third. So our space, oh, this is not, oh uh, yeah, the, the completion of the union of a chain which appears here uh, where each e space n is li li linearly isometric to some dim finite dimensional space L infinity over n. Yeah? So the, our space is going to be a completion of the union of, of, uh, of such a sequence. It, this chain is going to be finite if our space is finite dimensional. So this space, uh, the, the number two, says that it, we have something already uh, already not so precisely mentioned about this condition three, but it says only that we have a directed, so this, our space contains a directed family F such that the union is dense and any element of this uh, the directed family is just linear, is idometric to some L infinity N. So this is a Lindenstrauss space. So you will see later that it will be used to, to construct. In fact, there was this information of Michael Perczynski, Lazar, Lindenstrauss has been used by has been used by by by, by Guriari when he was just getting some results about topology or geometrical properties of his space. <coughs> so it's not too hard, or it's not. But apparently, it's not trivial to show that. Uh, the Guriari space is uh, the unique up to isomorphism of norm arbitrary close to one. That was just first observation of, of Guriari, but essentially later, 10 years later, Luski proved that separable Banach spaces with Guriari space, but Guriari property are unique up to bijective isometry. The proof was complicated. It was really technical. And uh, the, the people wait a long time to get some much easier approach to this, to this uh, uh, result. And look at this 2011. So the people really waited a long time. And Kubisch and Solecki proved, and I think the result was published in Journal of Function, uh, no, uh, Israel Journal of Mathematics. And they got the following result. Very interesting and not complicated technically. 
It was some tricky way, but uh, the, the result was really interesting, and the approach was really interesting. So we have two Banach separable spaces with the Guriari property. Uh, so take any epsilon greater than zero, and take any finite dimensional space in, in E, X, and some epsilon isometry from X to F. Uh, then one can construct a bijective isometry from our two objects, E and F, in such a way that the, the difference is less than epsilon. Uh, so now if you have it, if you have it, this result, you can get this result of Luski for free. Uh, so therefore we have this result of Luski. So separable Banach spaces with the Guerrieri property are unique up to bijective isometry. So we have everything is just isom uh, isometric. So if we deal, if, if we are working with with uh, 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 Banach spaces with this uh, Dugunji property, uh, Dugunji Guerrieri property, then all objects are are isometric. Uh, <coughs> So the next step was to prove that this Guriari space, constructed by Guriari, is isometrically universal uh, in, in the class of all separable Banach spaces, like was just done for C01. Huh? And, uh, and here the story was not so easy. So a lot of good names were involved to get this result. It was hard function analysis. So, but if you if you look at some papers of Lazar, Lindenstrauss, Michael, and Pełczynski, some of them were independently obtained, and this connection. So this guy, Gevorkian, I think the Russian, yeah, mathematician Arkady. I, I'm not sure. Gevorkian, no? Armenian. Armenian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so he put everything together and he provided the proof. The issue was the following. The dual of the space G is non-separable L1 space for some measure. So if we have it using some Rinder uh, uh, Pełczyński result, we know that uh, this G contains a isometric copy of C01. And now we need to uh, apply this uh, uh, banach mazur theorem. Uh, so this is just the step uh, which is related you, you with universality of the space. Uh. Okay, another proof has been provided by Kubish and Solex in the same paper I mentioned already, 2011. Uh. So, but uh, there, are, there were some group of people, most of them, I don't know why, but for Spain. Uh, so Aviles, you have uh, uh, Gabel or Sanchez, Castillo, Gonzalez. Uh, that were mo many people were just related, were 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 connected with um, this uh, research about Guriari spaces and and properties, or maybe another another proof related with uh, with this stuff previously done by Guriari. So, but moreover. Everything what I mentioned already refers to separable Banach spaces. So the natural question is, what is the case when we drop separability? So who is again Kubish and, and his, uh, his PhD student already promoted? I was even the referee of the, of this, of the doctor thesis. Every Banach space, doesn't matter separable or not, but we have some information about the density. So if we take any Banach space, it turns out that this Banach space is isometrically embedded into a Banach space with the same density and with the Guriari property. What does it mean, this property, if its separability is dropped? Exactly the same what I mentioned yeah, in, the theorem, in the theorem of Guriari, because this property referred to separable Banach spaces. But if you drop separability, this property we used to call Guriari property still kept. Yeah? 
Okay, so uh, another result of this of this um, flavor, of this taste is uh, the information that we can even get a far a Banach space far away from separability. So uh, uh, there exists a Banach space with the Guerrieri property of density Aleph one, so very huge space, uh, far away from separability which contains family of uncomplemented isometric copies of G. So we have a lot, in fact, we have a lot of iso uh, uncomplemented isometric copies of, of G in this concrete uh, Banach space. But this, this space is, uh, no, yeah, this is just uh, uh, non-separable and construction goes by some uh, uh, quite heavy induction. So just information that uh, if you deal with our Banach space of Guriari, Guriari Banach space, always you can find isometric embedding such so that the uh, image is not complemented in G. This is not so difficult, but it's just starting point that uh, we have even in this case uh, uh, some uncomplemented un subspace. Okay, and there may be the last result from this paper, uh, uh, joint paper with, with uh, uh, Garbolinska Vegzin. There exist at least two non isomorphic, uh, isomorphic Banach spaces of density Aleph 1 having the Guriari property. So, this is striking information that if we drop separability, we can get. Banach spaces with Guriari property, but not isomorphic. Not isomorphic, so for sure not isometric. Yeah? So, uh, and, and, uh, and by the way, by the way, they proved, but it was already known to Guriari, but they applied this, uh, this um, approach to, to get some information that no Banach spaces Guriari property is complemented in CK space. So now, it's clear that if you deal with any compact K, this space CK is not a Guriari space. Huh? It's not only C01, but any Banach space of continuous functions is out of the business here. Okay, so now let's go to quite fresh stuff. Uh, we just, we just ask ourselves about maybe some variant or some, some uh, version of Guriari theorem dealing with fresher spaces. So having in mind these two works of Banach, Mazur and, and mazur orlich theorems, you might be tempted to look at this Guriari stuff to get probably some, some uh, object with the with the property like like Banach and Ma, uh, sorry Mazur and Orlich uh, fixed, yeah. So this is a paper which was already published uh, last year. Uh, okay, it's just repeating uh, the fresh space is locally mm -hmm. convex, metrizable, complete space is a countable family of semi-norms generating this, this topology. Uh, uh, by the way, I, I was told, I, I heard from Orlich that uh, in fact he was really strongly encouraged by Mazur. He was a really fan of fresher spaces. At that time when he was working, fresher spaces were considered like uh, something absolutely uh, of the second hand, right? It was really early uh, time, but Mazur, Mazur collected many results, not published, about fresher spaces, and some of them are already included in the book, but in fact the book is written in the Polish language, what a pity is not translated, of Aleksiewicz, my, my guru. Uh, 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 in, in, in English is translation to English, Introduction to Functionalities, and he just mentioned, he told me that 
two or three chapters from the book about locally convex spaces and metrizable locally convex spaces and fresher spaces were discovered by Mazur at that time and Olich told me that he was a little bit afraid to even to think about universality of C0, of CR, but Mazur just encouraged him, let's do it, and they did. Okay, so now, <coughs> so let's uh, let's think about two fresher spaces, E and F, with, with uh, corresponding families, uh, countable families of seminorms generating these two topologies. And the uh, linear operator between both will be called epsilon isometric. If we have these conditions I just mentioned, referring to any seminorm. To any seminal. Uh, there is some another possibility. If we have a fresher space, you can get a special F norm, right? But it's not so useful to work with this because some properties can be dropped working in this F seminal is defined by series of blah blah blah. Um, maybe this is not so not so necessary to mention now. We decided to work with such a countable. Uh, uh, countable uh, mm, uh, conditions, right, which in any level uh, are described like here. So this, this works, this should work for any n and any x from e. So epsilon isometry means exactly what is mentioned here. Okay, and it's, it's much more uh, much more uh, uh, I don't know how, what to say, uh, correct or it's more elegant to have an increasing sequence of seminorms generating this topology. And I found in some paper of Dietmar Vogt that he, I'm not quite sure, he defined this first time, this graded, this term uh, 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 fresh space is, is, is going to be called graded if we have such an increasing family of seminorm generating our topology. At least he mentioned this. I'm not quite sure if he was the first person who, who, called, who, who described this property. Okay, so now we following this idea of Oguriari and we need to we need to formally to define a fresher space which is going to be Guriari or to have Guriari property, we just split it here in two parts. A graded fresher space it is of almost universal disposition for finite dimensional graded fresher spaces. That any any locally convex space which is finite dimensional is iso all topologies are, are the same, right? I, 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 isomorphic. But we just wanted to have a selected selected uh, family, countable family of seminorms, because this is the key point for, 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 for this construction we are going to have. So, uh, if for any epsilon and for, uh, for a finite dimensional fresher spaces X included X and Y, with isometric embedding F0 X to E, there exists epsilon isometric em em embedding, so it's somehow extension of this f0 to, to, from x to y. This is extension, right? So if this, the same holds for any epsilon, uh, from any, for epsilon uh, uh, equals zero, we say that our space of universal disposition for finite dimensional fresher spaces. Of course, the other condition is very strong. What Guriari proved is there is no Banach, separable Banach space with which is of universal disposition for, for finite dimensional Banach spaces. So we wanted to get some similar information for fresher spaces. So, and our result says the following. So we just consider a typical, typical uh, and quite expected uh, uh, make, um, uh, a fresher space, if we have a Banach space, this Guriari space, why not to consider a countable product? 
for sure, is not uh, any longer Banach space, but the fresher space. The key point was just to be sure that this object is exactly what we are looking for. Uh, so we constructed a special monotonic increasing sequence of seminorms, step by step, was well, not so easy, of seminorms generating this product topology of G2M. And we proved that this space, this object, G to power N, is, is up to isometric, unique, separable, graded, fresh space of almost universal disposition for all finite dimensional graded fresh spaces. So if you have in mind this definition, so on the previous slide, so this G to N is exactly the space of the type. So the next, the next result says that this object G to N is universal for separable graded fresh spaces. So we have something which is similar to, to mazur orlich theorem, but this space, I'm going to, to tell you later, CR is not isomorphic to G2N. So we have a new object, new object, which of course contains this CR, but is not isomorphic to CR. Yes, so the next there is no separable fresher space, which is of universal disposition for finite dimensional fresher spaces. So that means when epsilon is zero, there's no way to get, uh, to get uh, a space which is of universal disposition, like was presented in the definition. Oh no? Oops. OK, and the last step is just uh, uh, the information that this space is uh, uh, this space up to isometry is a unique is unique graded separable fresher space of almost universal disposition. So that means uh, th th it has some consequences. <laughs> How much? Uh, five, minutes, five, minutes. five minutes. Okay. All right. So now we know already that uh, about the story with mazur orlich theorem. Yeah, mazur orlich theorem, uh, and uh, we proved that. Uh, if we deal with uh, with, uh, with uh, any any metrizable and complete space uh, Cx, when x is hemi-compact, that means is the definition here that this space is not of almost universal disposition for finite dimensional fresher spaces. So uh, this object is out of the business, right? I mean the mazur orlich space. So this, the proof is, goes more or less, this is only the sketch of the proof <coughs> I, 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 I have to... Keep yeah, okay. Uh, now yeah, there is some, some, uh, some uh, approach how to get this result. In fact, uh, uh, we need to, we need to, to use this uh, Guriari classical uh, theorem, uh, which in fact is used here. Okay, now, how to construct this Guriari space, uh, this is of course the sketch of the proof. The, the essential point is so-called push-out lemma. If you look at this, it's quite interesting and very useful, very useful strategy working with, uh, with many objects. So we have three Banach spaces, Z, Z, uh, X and Y, and we have some isometric embedding from Z to X, and we have epsilon isometric embedding from Z to Y. So it turns out we can construct a W, space W, uh, such that um, uh, uh, Y can be embedded. Isometric, there is an um, isometric embedding from Y to, to W. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I missed here or something. Uh, right. Then there exists a Banach space W, isometric embedding from Y to W, and, isom and epsilon, epsilon isometric embedding from X to W, such that this, this uh, diagram com commutes. Uh, it's quite powerful weapon to construct our stuff. So uh, uh, I need to speed up, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. So the first step is just to, no, yeah. So if, if you take any arbitrary separable Banach space mm -hmm. and you deal with special rational, rational finite dimensional spaces, what does it mean, a rational finite dimensional space? In fact, this is a space of rational, uh, this is a space isomorphic to R to N with a special s maximum norm which is defined here. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so, it's, it's easy to take abs epsilon isometric embedding from E to X with the special property that F transform this basis from this finite dimensional space to the then subspace D. And if you look at this push out lemma, one should get a special new Banach space, uh, which is included X prime, which is included in, in X and another isometric embedding from F to X prime. And, and the, issue, the issue is that we can repeat this work only countable minute, for countable minute pairs of rational Banach spaces. This must be done, but it's done. And if you have it, we will get some object, separable Banach space GX, for which if you take any rational, any rational pair E and F for any any isometric, epsilon isometric embedding will get some extension like, which is typical for, 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 for this property mentioned on the first slide. And now, we repeat this construction by induction. We will get a sequence of subspaces, which is indicated here. And it turns out, using already this result of Linden-Strauss was about uh, Linden Strauss, about Linden Strauss space. The, the completion of the union is just our object. In fact, this is Linden Strauss space by the second slide, but this space is really the separable Guriari space. This is the last step which must be, must, must be proved. Finished. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Any comments? Comments? Okay.